Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm your host, Isaac Porter from Lowry Porter Ophthalmology, and we are bringing you the latest in ophthalmology and eye care. Today, I will explain how people can know if they qualify for LASIK. In our last episode, we brought you some of the basics about LASIK, and many people wonder if they are a candidate. Most of the time, this can be determined in a visit that takes less than one hour that is a free evaluation. One of the first things we will look at is your prescription and its stability over time. I want to see that the prescription is not changing very much because once we include the power from your glasses or your contacts onto your eye, if your prescription continues to change, you will lose the effect from the laser vision correction. We will also take corneal topography, which is a map of the front of your eye. For the patient, it's basically like getting a photo taken of the eye, but this gives me very valuable information about the curvature of the cornea, and I want to see that this is a regular pattern for a patient to qualify. Next, we will do a wave scan on your eye, which passes rays of light in and back out through the eye. How this light moves gives us an idea about the prescription that is needed to correct the vision, and it also can reveal any imperfection in the vision that can be corrected with the laser. This is a little bit like a fingerprint of the eye in that it is unique to each person and the laser can adjust for these very unique problems on the vision. After that we will measure the thickness of the cornea. The thickness of the cornea is important because there needs to be an adequate amount of tissue there available since the laser removes tissue, which is how it works. Some people that have corneas that are too thin may not qualify for LASIK. After this, I will do a thorough examination of your eye and see that your eye is healthy. Basically, we want the eye to be able to get the best vision that it can, and if there are significant problems with the eye or it's unhealthy, then it may not qualify. Based off of all the information from these tests, I could then make a determination if you will qualify for the laser vision correction. There are two types of procedures that I do, LASIK and PRK, and in our next episode I would like to give you some details of what may qualify for one or the other, or if you would have a choice between both. So, until next time, hope to see you again on A State of Sight, and thank you very much for joining us here from Lowry Porter Ophthalmology in Raleigh.